morning you guys so i'm driving so i hope you guys can hear me well i hope you guys can see me well you know now i usually don't do anything when i'm driving but i'm like why not i have a mount i have a um a car that could you know allow me to do these things and everything's set up so i'm completely safe but i wanted to talk to you guys about suffering you know and embracing your suffering you know a lot of times we get down and out and we get down in the dumps about you know things beyond our control the things that we went through the things that some of us are still going through and i wanted to tell you that a lot a lot of your most valuable lessons are in your suffering a lot of the thing a lot of the things the good takeaways out of life a lot of the um experiences that you had that seemed like they were going to just end your whole world or cause you to end your whole world um you know that is where that is where the nutrients of the fruit is you know so a little bit about me when i was 16 years old um i was abandoned by my by my family so at six months i was abandoned by my mother and at 16, I was abandoned by my grandmother, who was my everything, my caregiver, my all, you know. So when she abandoned me, you know, I was out on the street just trying to figure it out, okay? Trying to figure it out, trying to, um, you know, know where my next meal was coming from, trying to understand where I was going to stay, what I was going to do, how I was going to get to school, because I was still in school. I was in high school. Um, you know, just a lot of things like how how am I going to work my way around this? And mind you, I wasn't one of those kids that knew a lot about everything, right? I didn't know how to ride the the motor bus, like the public transportation, because I grew up in Atlanta, so I didn't know any of those things, right? I didn't have a job and I didn't even have um, paperwork like I didn't have a social security card or a birth certificate or anything like that to even try to go and begin to get a job so I had no understanding of the world right and I was suffering I remember um, walking along the streets of Atlanta and they had just opened up this one restaurant called the Pascal restaurant it was not it was on Northside Drive not too far from the Georgia Dome and I went up to the restaurant owner and I asked the restaurant owner, you know, for, for $2 so that I could go across the street to Hardee's to get me a sandwich because I was starving. And the um, the restaurant owner, he looked at me, he was like, no. And I said, please, you know, I'm starving. You know, I just want something to eat. And all I need, all I beg of you, this is what I told this guy, I said, all I beg of you is $2 just so I can get me a sandwich. Or you can take me and get the sandwich yourself. And the guy said no. no. And here I am, a 16-year-old kid. Yes, my clothes looked nice, but they were decent, you know. But those were the only clothes that I had for the rest of the time that I was out there on that street. You know, and so um, the, 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 the restaurant owner told me no, y'all. And when he told me no, it was like my world cr crashed. And I, I dropped down in front of the restaurant owner. And I said, I beg you for two dollars. I was like, I'm starving. You know, my my caregivers. I, I think I said my my grandma at the time put me out. You know, I'm starving. I just need something to eat. And he was like, No, you don't look starving to me. That's what he told me. And I said, Oh wow. You know, you know. And then and I was just devastated. And so I continued to walk. And along the way. I saw uh, an ice cream truck and the ice cream truck man saw me and um, he was like, you know, hey, do you want an ice cream? And I said, I can't even afford an ice cream. I was like, I'm homeless, you know, and I'm just trying to figure it out because I don't know what else to do. And the ice cream man gave me a bag of change, y'all. He gave me a bag of change. And when he gave me this bag of change, okay, my whole world lit up because I was able to get this school, you know? But I was suffering, y'all. In that point, I was suffering, you know? And now that I look back at my life, I'm like, dang, that suffering really did something to me. Because guess what now? Now that I'm older, I don't go without, I make sure my children don't go without. I 
really have a great understanding of a lot of situations, right? A lot of situations that a lot of people wouldn't make it out of. Um, a lot of situ you know, just I just really have a grave understanding of a lot of things. I pay attention to things differently. Um, I maneuver in the world differently. So when adversity strikes me, it's hard for me to feel defeated, right? It's hard for me to feel like um, that my world is over when adversity hits. And it's because I went through that breaking point in my life. And in that suffering, I found my strength. I found that not only am I a child, I figured this thing out, you know. I then went on to join the military because I had nothing to lose, right? I had nothing um, holding me back from, you know, going into the military. So I had nothing to lose. You know, I pretty much kind of, I kind of like just closed off that side of myself, you know. And now that I'm older and I'm on this journey, I'm revisiting a lot of those things that made me who I am. But those things do not put me in a state of depression or I don't get sad because I don't have a, a family to call on and things like that. You know, it puts me in a place of understanding. It puts me in this place like, hmm, you know. I'm maybe having all that could be a bit crippling, you know, maybe having all of those things could be a bit crippling to me. So I was one of those type that needed to be, you know, needed to go through those experiences so that I'd be prepared to take on this world, right? And so now I just feel like through my suffering, I gained so much. You know, although at the time it felt like my world was completely over, y'all. I gained so much through my suffering. And throughout my military career, you can tell that things didn't shake me, you know. So it was like, man, that one thing, although it was a, a terrible thing. And if y'all ever thinking about putting y'all kids out before they get, um, you know, of age, please really think about what you're doing to these, these children because there was some um, down slopes too that, you know, I had a lot of, you know, issues with love. I didn't trust people. Um, I heard a lot of people that I came across. I never gave 100% to anyone because I always felt like they were going to abandon me in some kind of way, you know, but that was like a long time ago. That was me trying to um, create my own coping mechanisms. But I tell you guys, had I not gone through that suffering, there's no telling where I'd be today. And there's no telling, you know, how, you know, how, how my impact would reach people, you know? So I just want y'all to understand like suffering at the t at that moment, it feels horrible. It feels like your world is over. It feels like, you know, you're just a complete failure at everything, right? But after all of that is done and you come up out of that you gain so much value in that suffering you gain so much i mean i just can't even put it into words because you just gain so much out of that experience that you become almost unstoppable when it comes to you tackling goals and doing things like that so my my message to you all today is just to embrace the suffering all right because that's where all of the the juices and the berries of that fruit lie is in that suffering all right so i hope y'all have a good day y'all don't caught me off guard like but i just had to get it out i didn't know how i wanted to get it out but i just wanted you guys to like really understand like suffering can be good you know, as long as you are prepared to take that lesson that you learn from that suffering and apply it to, you know, bettering your life and bettering the things around you. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this message and I'll holler at you.